M0FXB. Let's update the firmware on our Anytone AT-D168UV. To check the firmware on your device, just press the green menu. Go down until you see settings. Select and then down to device info. And then if you go down with the arrow, you'll see that mine is on version 1.03. To download some or the software, I've got the anytone.net downloads here. So we're just going to click the zip here and save it. OK, uh, the top one says 1.04 and we've also got the CPS there. So let's have a look at that folder that we've downloaded. So I've gone straight to the instructions and it is saying before the firmware upgrade, use the current CPS, CPS version firmware version in device info to read the radio first and save the code plug okay so let's do that let's just check our com port as well so windows square right click device manager the usb c connected at the moment just where my finger is and we've plugged it into my pc let's see if we're showing up a com port at the moment double click ports and it does say USB serial device COM27, so hopefully it doesn't need a driver, but if it does, we will install one. It does say after the install, you do have to do a factory reset. So on the 1.04, they are saying that the change list is AES256 function, improve the issue that the 168 work correctly on the AES256. What is that? mic function improve the issue that some radios low transmit audio okay external speaker microphone improve the issue that the firmware 103 with extension mic speaker on a dmr repeater channel if the repeater doesn't reply when i push ptt so it seems like just bugs to me so have a look at the previous one see if there's anything interesting there yeah satellite function that was all added and i have already got that cps etc so really it's i would say it's more of a bug fix the 1.04 there's a ni nice brochure here and i note that they still have the little bluetooth logo there i'm telling you there's a bluetooth version of this it might even have bluetooth in it and they just don't want us to to use it yet who knows okay i've come to the bridgecom site now M many many thanks to bridgecom uh, to get the 1.04 CPS, I can't seem to find it um, on the Anytone site. It probably is there, but anyway, thanks Bridgecom, double click CPS 1.68 setup. Let that run, click yes. Right, so click OK to English. 168 1.0. Dot zero four next next create desktop and it should just open and then we're going to select the com port and read the radio like i said it is connected launch um look at this it's still doing it gps bluetooth i'm going to turn it all on click ok right that's funny and then we're gonna I'm so curious to all of this. I just turn that on. I'm going to see if it will let me write to the radio. Set, set com 27, click OK, and I'm going to go right. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Not contacts at the moment. Click OK. Radio list is empty, can't be written. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wonder what that means, model. Set com 27, right click device manager. Twenty seven. See if it lets me write to the read read from the radio. It did. So you sort of have to read it first click ok and there are channels in there roaming channels not many uh, now i'm still got i'm still really curious about turning on the d gpn i can't really see anything obvious but i i just got a feeling that the hardware's in there i don't know why i just I keep thinking it so maybe i'm completely wrong so anyway tool firmware and icon update 
open up the file. So we're going to go open and find the firmware that we put into folder called Anytone firmware. Where's it gone? That was in our desktop. We will find it. We have a lot of firmware on this computer. Actually, I remember it did say save, save, desk downloads, look, RDT, like it said in the instructions. Save, there you are. We have saved. Okay, done as we're told. Now we'll go tools, firmware, open file, any tone firmware. Uh, icon CPF firmware there it is there success in uploading it now we need to go into firmware mode and it said press the two buttons beneath the PTT and turn on so let's turn it off press Ooh. <laughs> it's fiddly sorry We got a red light there flashing so that tells me that's in firmware mode so now we're going to go right and a little message here that says right to radio click ok and it's going let's do it remember after this So that's it. Now I want to get a code plug with lots of roaming channel repeaters on it. So I'm going to see if I can find one. There must be on the Anytone Facebook group or one of the sellers, Martin Lynch, Radio World. One of them must have a code plug packed with features. Now I do have a code plug on my Anytone 878, which probably will go in. And that is a very big probably. Um, but I want a fresh one that's been made just for this radio. But anyway, firmware's going in. Now I remember that the firmware, right, click OK, will change the number on your radio, but it won't take until you do the factory reset. Because my radio's got nothing on it, I'm not that bothered about it. So reboot, and then we're gonna go menu, go down to settings, Device info down for firmware version 104. So that's good. That's been successful. Now let's do the factory reset. So the instructions say power off the radio. Then while holding down the PTT and the PF1 button uh, at the same time. So let's do that. Just going to turn off. And it's the PTT and the button underneath. Sorry, my hands in the way. And then turning on, keeping my fingers on it. And it does. It did. I know my hand was in the way, but I held down the PTT and the first button and turned on the radio. And it gave me this message. And we're going to go confirm. And then when it comes back on, it's going to do the usual ask for the time. Um, but really, that's that's the whole process. So thanks for watching my channel. And um, we'll write back in. We'll go back to the software. And we'll exit that for now. Confirm. And we're on 1.04. And the, the software is 3. I believe it's 3.04. Does it say? Let's go to help. Yeah, let's go down and click help. About 1.04, it just says there, so that's what it is. So turn the radio off, then on. I notice it's quite a slow booter, this one. Is there a far? I wonder if there's a fast boot option because it's quite slow at booting. It works great though. So now we're going to just write to the radio. So set com 27. I noticed you can do in, uh, you can factory reset it there. Write to radio, click OK. Might as well put the contacts, even though there aren't any. And click OK. 
And in the next video, what I'm going to do is get this juicy code plug and load it up. And then we'll have a go at creating some new channels. We'll have a go at adding my hotspot and, and lots more. Thanks for watching so far. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Bye for now, 7-3.